Hello guys and gals, it's me, Mojo Daddy Mystic, and I'm back with another groovy reaction. And uh, if you hadn't noticed, um, I am currently working out my um, my lighting. I've I got the new uh, ring light sponsor. Sponsor, I got the new the newer ring light. So um, if you see the reflection in my glasses, um, I hope it's not too distracting. Um, I'm working on it, trying to make uh, these videos of better quality um, as much as I can, so um, just bear with me, guys. Um, so I'll try to get the glare out as much as possible. Hopefully it's not um, too big of an eyesore. But on this video, we are looking at a band that I don't know that much about, to be honest. Um, I obviously have heard of the band. They are called Chicago. Um, I've heard of their big hit, uh, 25 or 624, obviously. That's the one they're most well known for, but, um, not that, uh, much else. Um, but there is one song of theirs that I, um, uh, have heard and I enjoy and we're going to read, um, uh, react to it today um, it's called Street Player Street Player by Chicago and this uh, uh, this song comes off of their um, album Chicago 13 released in 1979 so, so Chicago were uh, really big in the 70s late 70s early 80s um, I, I know they're well known for their horns and they're very, um, very large band, um, kind of similar to Earth, Wind, and Fire, um, in terms of the mass of the band. Um, a lot, a lot of good, um, good musicians uh, in this one. So yeah, um, we are going to react to the opening track to Chicago Thirteen, Street Player, right now. Let's vibe. Gosh, liquid gold on the vocals, man. Woo, buddy. I have to give you a shout out, man. I hate to stop it, guys, but um, it's either Jeff Coffee. Oh, my God. Matter of fact, let's start that over. You guys let me know. Is it Jeff Coffey singing the vocals on this track? They had to be, they had to be blasting this in the club back in the day. Street 
tearing it up, man. Oh my. Good bass. It was such a small space in time. Never knew that I would find a musical path for all to see. Sounds like Bee Gees right there. How can you not dance to this, man? I'm sorry. Get up. Yeah, vocals are out of this world right now. You got a break in here. Yeah. Can you imagine being back in the clubs? Oh, man.
to me. All this on it. Woo! guys oh unbelievable unbelievable so you got jeff coffee on on bass and vocals it looks like he's the lead singer then you got robert lamb on key keyboards guitar and vocals lou pardini on keyboards and vocals keith howland on guitar back and backing vocals and uh tris idoden on drums percussion and harmonica and um Lee Lenang Le on trumpet and backing vocals. So a lot. Um, so it sounded it just sounded like one guy, but I'm not sure if it's Jeff Coffey on this track. But a lot of vocalists in this band, it looks like. Um, yeah, so they've been active since 1967 uh, to present. So they're still so they're still out there kicking ass. This was a, a fantastic song. Um, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2016. Uh, well deserved from the sound of it. Chicago, uh, I'm definitely going to have to get into more of them. Big ups to you guys for for making that a, a, a jam of all jams right there. Street player. Street player. I'm a street player. Woo! Uh, what did you guys think? Street Player by Chicago. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, should I do more Chicago? I don't know. Uh, that song was funky, but uh, what else do they have to offer? I will have to look into it. Uh, with, that, with all that being said, peace, love, and happiness, as always, to all of you. And we'll see you next time. I'm out. So funky.